I didn't start recording. Day. I'll do that before. Okay, so I'm seeing the, the lemon, lime, citrusy slices, right? But I'm, I keep seeing them being put in different scenarios where it's like they make a happy, happy face out of like a pancake or whatever. And then there's like all these different happy faces and I keep seeing like this shape. And then I'm like, this is beautiful. What are you showing me? And it's just... The same thing that I said is immediately whenever you came on here, your smile is just incredible, right? Just the energy that you radiate. And so this is showing that your, your um, outlook, your, your countenance is always one of joy and you bring so much joy and peace into a room when you come in. And so that is just like citrus even elevates the mood. Like whenever people use essential oils and things like that for uh, mood lifters, they use oils like lemon, citrusy, things like lime, um, and orange. Those are things that help to elevate emotions, right? To help you feel differently. And so I'm seeing that as that's what you do. That's who you are. That's what you were created to do. And I feel like you've wondered a lot in life, like, what is your purpose? What is your gift? Why are you here? What is it that you bring that's special? She's like, yep, yep, yep. So mm -hmm. that major special thing, it starts right here. And I feel like you, you, for some reason, are, are you ashamed of your smile for some reason? Do you struggle with yes. You are, you are. Okay. So that's interesting that that's the first thing that I saw and was attracted to. And then what they keep showing me during the breathing, that's what I kept seeing as I was doing the breathing. It was like, they just keep making face after face. And it's, it's that you bring that joy and that energy every time you come into a room and you bring that smile to everyone else's face, yet you don't do it for yourself you beat yourself up over it and you, you question it. And so spirit is saying like, you need to be silly and have fun and do the fun things with yourself. Because then it's like, I saw like, you know how you take it and put it in your mouth and then you do the little thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where you would put mm -hmm. it in and you like smile with it in your mouth. It's like literally just have fun and be joyful and enjoy all of these fun things because you are really like, down on yourself about the very thing that is your actual gift that you bring into into this world you were brought here to bring joy and to help elevate others emotional states you are meant to bring joy to people's lives and help people through some of the hardest times of their lives like um like have you ever seen the movie patch adams yes that's what i'm seeing like you are that type of energy. You, you have that type of healing energy that you don't have to, it, you think like you need all these extra things. Do you, are you like a forever learner though? Like, not, I feel like you're a, yeah, like, but not in a good, not, okay. I'm a forever learner. It's a good thing to be a forever learner, but I feel like you obsessively learn things. <laughs> Yeah. It's like you, you, you get so like intentional and focused on, let me find this new skill and this new thing so that this can make me better. And maybe if I do this, then that will make me feel whole inside. So then you learn this and then you get bored with that. And then it's okay. Well, let me go learn this. Let me do this. Okay. Well, no, I'm just going to learn this. I'm going to make myself better in this way. And it's just a constant, like you constantly breaking something and rebuilding it, but spirit saying, quit breaking yourself down. There's no need for you to break down because you don't have to rebuild. You can just add on, right? You don't have to completely destroy the building, you can add on to the building if the foundation is secure, right? You just build another foundation next to it, secure it to the old one, and you keep building. And so there's a lot within you that you you have this ability to learn and absorb things so well, but you actually use it as a coping mechanism and kind of as a way to kind of hide. Yeah. Yeah. So spirit is saying like, I'm breaking you free from that. Like I, it's literally, and I never, I'm usually the one that I'm like, okay, you need this book. You need to read this, listen to this, do this. And it's like, I'm literally being told like, tell her to throw the damn books out, throw the books out. Like you literally need to take a break from trying to put all the knowledge in and focus on the healing that needs to happen. Because the reality is the coping mechanism of over 
exertion in looking for more education is re really just covering and it's just a band-aid for not dealing with those things, which is what that burning feeling that you just got right here is. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So that right there, that feeling, and that's familiar to you because the second that it happened, your countenance changed. The second that that happened, you went to like, it, you automatically just even start shrinking in because that's showing it's like you automatically go to the fetal position, right? Yes. Okay. So that's telling you that there's things that still need to be healed here. It's time to do that inner healing. I feel like I'm hearing Mack truck. It's like, you feel like you get hit by a Mack truck with the emotions when they come, right? So you just avoid it. It's better to just not get hit by the train, right? Let me not get hit by the truck. Let me just avoid it. You were made for more. You weren't made to avoid it. You weren't made to look away. And that's why you can't. And that's why you constantly are drawn back in. And that's why whenever you try to pursue these new things and this new knowledge, you run, 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 run as fast as you can. And then you're all of a sudden like, I thought I was doing great. Now, what the hell? Why do I feel like I'm 10 years back? Right? Mm. Got to do that healing. Got to go inward. Got to deal with those things. Do you, is it, okay. <laughs> Is there, do you have a stepfather? Um, no, no, I, I have a biological father, but there is someone that is a step grandfather. Step grandfather. Okay. Okay. So you already know the situation here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm sending you healing energy right now because I feel the heaviness of this situation, but I want you to know you did not deserve a single ounce of what that man did to you. It wasn't your fault. You didn't deserve it. There's nothing that you could have done to stop it. It wasn't your responsibility. You were wronged. And for that, I'm sorry. But let me just tell you that that story, that old situation that you're avoiding so hard because you feel like it's the very thing that broke you that's the very thing that's going to bring the freedom to you that's the very thing that's going to bring the breakthrough for you because as soon as you go in and you address that situation as soon as you deal with that it's like the the binds are just broken. It's like you come through and you shine so bright and you don't question your self-worth. You don't have insecurities. You don't struggle with, with your own value and your own beauty. You actually see yourself for the masterpiece that you are. You are so valuable. I wish you could see the value that is inside of you. Like I see you like a bright shining diamond. And you know, like whenever you have all these fancy, oh gosh, I'm ignoring everything over there. Okay. Oh, it's just lions. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just all those emojis. And I thought I missed it. Sorry. If, you, if you've typed anything, I haven't seen anything but lions and people. Okay. So, so I'm sorry. I got distracted with all of the comments over there. Okay. This is, this is what you need to understand. The very thing that you think is what's going to hold you back forever because it's held you back so long is actually what's going to propel you into greatness. You're meant to help other people who have been through the same circumstances. You're meant to help other people rise above those situations. And that's going to require a lot of strength. And I know that you feel like you can't do that because you can't even think about the situation or talk about the situation without bursting out in tears. 
but that doesn't stay that way forever. Ask me how I know. I've been there, okay? I've been through it. And it does get easier to talk about when you finally actually heal and you process those pains, okay? It does get better. I feel like there's still so much, five minutes remaining. Okay, thank you. I feel like there's so much anger, but I feel like the anger isn't even pointed at the right person. Hmm. Yeah. I right in that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are we where are we placing this anger? I feel like a lot of it's on you, but are you angry with someone else too? Yes. Okay. Is this is this mom dad that didn't stop? What is it that uh grandmother? Grandmother. So gr- grandma knew about the situation and wasn't doing anything. She didn't know, but when she did find out, she didn't believe me. Okay. You have every right to be angry. You do. But that will not help you in your healing. Okay? To carry it. It will help you immensely to express it. But to carry that anger and to carry it with you as many years as you've carried it, it's not helping, right? It's only making things worse. And that's why we choose not to think about it because when we do go think about it and we feel all those things, we don't like the way that that makes us feel because we feel that, you know, and we feel that tension and that anger and then the frustration and all those feelings and all the what ifs and why didn't you? And if you would have, and if I would have, and then we, we don't want to think that way. So we go into that fight or flight and we just shut down and then we cope, we medicate. And so right now it's time for that band-aid, that, that wrapping that you've put on to come off and to start to irrigate this wound because there's so much joy. There's so much peace. There's so much more waiting for you. Okay. The, the visual three minutes. Okay. So we got two minutes left. The visual that I saw where I got distracted was this beautiful diamond jewel, you know, like whenever there's a masterpiece or something like like whenever you see on like the movies or something when there's this the crown jewel of whatever right they have this they have it in this glass encasing right they've got all the alarms and the, they've got the laser beam so that everybody has to you know creep in to try to steal it right but in there it's just turning and it's this beautiful majestic diamond and that's what I see within you and I see like your guides I see your loved ones I see all of these people coming forward to help you tear apart the the outer exterior and the thing is is that I feel like it's already been softened so much that you know, like whenever, a, you know, a wet paper bag, you know, like a, a brown paper bag from the grocery mm-hmm. store, if you were to have like folded a, several of those up and ever gotten them wet, you know, or wet cardboard like that, like a box gets wet. That's the best explanation. Okay. That's what mm-hmm. I'm seeing is that where it was something that you put to protect you, these walls that you put up to protect you because people didn't listen to you and didn't believe you and didn't help you and didn't pr- protect you and love you in the ways that they should. So then you you put this protective self up, but I feel like there's been a lot of work that you've been doing and a lot of emotional processing that's been happening in other areas that has caused a softening of this barrier, okay? That has prepared you to come to this layer. And in this layer, it's like what I see is that there's a tribe of people that are coming and just pulling it away from you. Like, it's just, let me just rip it away. And it's slowly but surely pulling away. And then that beautiful diamond is revealed on the inside. So what that's telling me is that you've got a lot of people out there that love you, and support you and want to help you as you go through this healing journey. So tell people what you need. Okay. And when you're sitting there going, well, I don't know what I need. I have no idea. Well, I need you to hold space for me. It just, you know what? One of my best friends, time to disconnect. Okay. One of my best friends, we can go months without talking. I will go visit or she will come visit. And it's like, we're, Thick as thieves, right? We pick up right where we left off. But we will go months without any engagement. And then when we connect, 
and she just holds that space for me and I hold that space for her. We know that we're here for one another at all times, right? If I need anything, I can pick up the phone and call. I know that she'll be on the phone or on a plane or, you know, money in the bank account if I need it, right? Same goes for her. But the best thing that she's ever done for me is to be that, to not be the one who needed me to be the friend who had to call every day to be a friend, right? But someone that would just hold space, that I know that that's a safe place for me to go to if I ever need to talk through anything, if I ever need to process anything, or if I ever just need a place to rest. You know how many times I've literally just gone there just to go rest on their couch? just to go rest. So if you have someone in your life that is that safe space for you, yeah, you already know who that is. You have that. Okay. So let that person know, Hey, I appreciate that you're here for me in this way. I'm about to go deep and do some healing work in regards to some trauma from my past. I just need you to know that I'm going through this. I need you to hold space for me. Just be there. I don't need you to fix anything. Just be there. If you need someone to come sit with you and let you cry on their shoulder, I need you to come over, meet me at 2.30 with a, with a big Dr. Pepper in hand, right? Meet me at 2.30 with Dr. Pepper and chocolate. I need it, okay? Just let people know what you need. You are a beautiful soul and you have a lot to give this world and a mighty, mighty call on your life. And that one thing that you think broke you, it's actually setting you up to bring breakthrough for so many others, including yourself, okay? I know it's a hard subject. It's a tough situation to go through, but you're gonna come through it. You're gonna rise above it and you're gonna help others come through the fire too. I've been where you're at and the other side is great. So keep coming, okay? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'll see you back in the live. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome, bye-bye.